is underway right now in Russian controlled areas of Ukraine on a referendum over whether to join Russia. But U.S. officials call this election a sham, saying the outcome has already been decided. And this week, the Kremlin announced it was drafting up to 300,000 new soldiers, prompting thousands to leave Russia rather than serve in the fight against Ukraine. Face the Nation host Margaret Brennan joins us live from Washington tonight. And Margaret, I know you'll be speaking exclusively with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky Sunday. What do you expect to hear from him? Well, we want to ask President Zelensky about this incredible week for his country uh, as they are looking at this increased threat from Russia. It certainly appears to be an escalation, as you just said, this what the U.S. calls a sham referendum where the outcome's already decided, appears to be an, an attempt to take about 15 percent of Ukraine and tuck it into Russia. What it also risks doing is putting the West in conflict with Russia more directly. That's what we want to talk about, along with this nuclear threat that Vladimir Putin keeps dangling. President Zelensky Zelensky uh, is uh, dealing with um, a changing pattern on the ground in terms of his military really having the strong counteroffensive. We want to ask him what he needs to actually bring this drawn out conflict to an end swiftly because it is impacting not just people on the ground in Ukraine but the economy around the world causing food scarcity and food prices uh, mm. from Africa to the United States where we are continuing to deal with in inflation caused in part, not in whole, by this war. Yeah. After the events of this week, it does feel like a watershed moment. Margaret Brennan, thank you so much. And of course, you can watch Margaret on Face the Nation Sunday morning at 1030 here on WBZ.